the Clown. And today, we're gonna do a fun exercise called Mirror Me. What does that mean, Mirror Me? It means anything I do, you do. So if I put my hand over here, you put your hand over there. If I put my hand over here, you do the same thing. Easy, right? Now we're gonna learn three different shapes today while we do this. We're gonna learn a triangle, a square, and a circle. Yeah, a triangle, a square, and a circle. Sound fun? Yes, I know it does. Okay, first up, a triangle. Hmm, how can we make a triangle with our body? Let's look at the triangle. So we have a triangle, and we notice that it has three sides. One that comes up this way, one that comes down, and one that goes across the bottom. So three sides. How could we make a triangle with our body? I have an idea. Let's use the floor to help us. So what if I do this? Now I make a big triangle. Here's one line that goes all the way up my body. Here's the point. And then here it comes down, all the way down. And then it goes all the way across to make a triangle. Yeah, what's another way we can do a triangle? Ooh, let's use the floor again. This one's a little bit harder. So if I have my feet planted and I put my hands down, ooh, like I'm doing yoga, I should make a weird looking triangle. Yeah? So I got the one going across the bottom, one coming across the top, and one coming down from my head. And I make a triangle there. There's two ways to make a triangle with your body. Now, I would love for you to play and figure out other ways you can make a triangle with your body. You could do this. And there's an even taller triangle. Yeah? Cool. Now, how can we move in a triangle? Yeah, that means we walk in a triangle. So let's make a triangle on the floor. So we have our back line, we have our top line, and our other top line. And now we're going to walk in a triangle. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm back. Was that fun? I know, you want it more complicated. I understand. So let's dance while we do it. In a triangle, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> That's so much fun. And we made a triangle on the floor. Now I have a challenge for you. Can you do it super fast? Yeah, here we go. Get your feet ready. Run your marks and get set. Go! And I made my triangle. Very good. Now, what was the other shape we were going to do next? Oh, yeah, a square. Can we see what a square looks like? Yeah. Now, this one is different from the triangle because it has four sides. You have one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the side, and one on the side over there. Hmm. How can we make a square with our body? This one's a little harder. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I have it, I have it, I have it, I have it. What if we do a table? So I'm gonna put my knees on the ground and I'm gonna put my hands on the ground. Now, if you look, my knees make one side, my arms make one side, my back makes the top line and the floor makes the bottom line. And now I'm in a square. That was super easy. What's another way that we can make a square? Ooh, I have it. It was such a cool idea. All right, this one's hard. You're gonna take your arms. Here's the top line. Here's the bottom line. And have your hands go. And we make a square. My hands make the side lines. What if we change it? We change it back. What if we change it again? And there we go. There's our square. It's kind of more of a rectangle, so if we shorten it up, there's our square. 
because squares are all equal sides. So this side is equal to this side, is equal to this side, is equal to this side. Yeah? All right, time for the floor. So draw your square on the floor. Got it? Fantastic. Here we go. I'm going to walk in my square. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm back. You want to try it again? Of course you do. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A square makes me think that I'm very marchy. Marching means that I'm marching just like this. So can we march super, super fast? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> now, let's do what we did before and let's dance through our square. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! And there is our square. Now we had one more shape. We did our triangle, we did our square, and now we have a circle. Should we see what a circle looks like? That's what a circle looks like. It's different from the rest because it doesn't have any sides. It is all one line that goes in a circle. So making a circle is super easy. If we do our hands, I just made a circle with our hands. Let's see what else. I could do a wide circle. I could do a tall circle with just my arms. How else could I make a circle? Ooh, I know. This one is fun. A circle! <laughs> so much fun, right? That one makes a circle while you roll. My body, I ball up and make a circle. <laughs> now, let's draw a circle on the floor. And we're going to move in a circle again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one was easy. We just turn in a circle. So what if we keep our heads in on the circle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa. Ooh, I have a wonderful idea. Instead of dancing or going super fast, let's spin and get dizzy while we go in our circle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm so dizzy. Yeah! So, today we have learned three shapes. One shape, two shapes, three shapes. It was a triangle, a square, and a circle. Triangle, square, circle. Did you have fun learning those shapes? Yeah? Fantastic! Well, I had fun with you. Now, what I would like you to do is when I get off, I would like you to explore and find new ways that you can make these shapes. Maybe ask your mommy and daddy to help you make shapes together. And you can make a three-person shape, a two-person shape, or you could just discover shapes on your own. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye! See you next time!